Hello, I'm Linda Irish Bostic, a U.S. Masters Swimming Level 4 coach, and I'm going to take you through common breaststroke mistakes and how to fix them. Although breaststroke is often considered the hardest stroke to teach and learn, some coaches even say breaststrokers are born, not made. It's actually a stroke that everyone can swim well. The key for a good breaststroke is finding the right technique for you. Look across a pool of eight breaststrokers racing and you'll likely see eight very different techniques. However, all eight swimmers are relying on the core principles that I'll discuss in this video. One of the most common things I see in breaststroke is what I call bobblehead syndrome. This is when a swimmer's head moves around. This movement doesn't help swimmers move forward and wastes energy. Cues like keep your head in line with your spine and imagine there's a cup of water on your head can help swimmers stop this, but sometimes they need more guidance. To execute this drill, swim breaststroke with one arm while your other arm is in a fist resting under your chin. Swim 25 yards with half of the length done with your right hand under your chin and the other half done with your left hand under your chin. And then swim an entire length of regular breaststroke, trying to replicate how your head felt during the drill. You can also do this drill with a tennis ball under your chin instead of your fist. Kicking can account for as much as 70% of the propulsion in breaststroke, but so many swimmers kick way too wide or don't finish their kicks. Kicking on your back is my favorite way to help find your kick's sweet spot. For this drill, push off the wall on your back with your arms tight by your side. Perform breaststroke kick, trying to bring your heels to your fingertips. Your knees should stay in the water. It can be helpful to over-exaggerate the finish of your kick by bringing the soles of your feet together at the end of each kick. Lack of hip movement is common in all four strokes, so make sure you're engaging them while you're swimming breaststroke. Your hips and pelvis are the genesis of all movement. All too often, swimmer's hips are just along for the ride instead of pushing ahead. Do a skull and undulation combination on your stomach in order to get your hips more involved. This can be done with a snorkel if you find lifting your head for breathing to be disruptive or challenging. Lie on your stomach with your arms in front of you and sculling back and forth as your hips go up and down. When your arms sweep out, your hips go down. When your arms sweep in, your hips should come up. This wakes up the muscles around your hips and pelvis. Next, swim regular breaststroke to slow your stroke rate way down and over-exaggerate your hip action. When your upper body is coming up, move your hips in a rocking downward motion. When you're lunging forward with your arms, aim to push your hips out of the water. If you over-exaggerate a movement, you can then be more aware of what's happening in your stroke when you swim it normally at a later time. Breaststroke might be the most technical stroke in swimming, but I hope pointing out these common mistakes and drills to fix them will help you perfect your stroke. For more great swimming content, please like and subscribe to our channel below. Once again, I'm Linda Irish Bostic. Thank you for watching.